last drum I want to show you is, uh, uh, this drum is uh, kind of a special drum for me. Excuse me. Uh, I bought this drum at uh, Terminal Music uh, in Manhattan uh, around 1987-1988 and uh, it's an interesting drum. It's a Ludwig drum. Uh, this badge says uh, Chicago. Uh, comes with the uh, with the muffler, which is cool. They should really reintroduce these back into drums. They removed them back in the eighties, I think, or whatever it was. And they really need to. I'm getting tired of putting like the moon gel and the tape mix down. These things, the this is just it's great. I don't don't know why they removed them. Uh, I'm using the uh, what is this? The Soul Pure Soul pure sound on this particular drum. Uh, when I bought this drum, it came with the Ludwig heads, you know, very thin heads on both sides, on the snare and the batter side. Um, the rims on this drum are very interesting, very unique. They're very, uh, they're very thick, very large uh, rims on both the top and the bottom. The standard, uh, what are these lugs? These are like the standard, like the diamond shape, uh, Ludwig. Uh, this drum is copper though, and uh, very different sound from copper. The metals are interesting how they, they create different tones. Uh, this drum is also pretty heavy. It doesn't look it, it's small. It's only a four, a five by a 14. But it weighs a lot, and I guess because it's copper, it's got some weight to it. Um, but I love this drum. This has been like my go-to drum. You know, when all else fails, I just I just bring this. Like, doesn't matter what the gig is. You know, if I'm not sure of the room I'm playing in or whatever the situation is, I I know that I'm bringing this drum. And everything's gonna be, everything's gonna work out. Um, you can hear that. I'll take the muffling off. Very different from the brass. Let me just put the brass up for a second up here. something you can definitely hear. Put the muffling back up a little bit. Not a lot, just a touch. seen it, I had played it back then, and I was bringing it up to purchase the drum, and the salesperson guy almost didn't want to sell it to me, and I'm not kidding you, he was like, he was asking me, well, what are you going to use the drum for, what kind of a music are you playing, you sure you want this drum, I'm thinking now, and I, I was like, yeah, I want the drum, I like it, but now I'm thinking that he probably was eyeing this particular drum, and didn't want to sell it to anybody, regardless of, like, commission or anything like that. So, uh, but I got it. Yeah. Very interesting sound.
YouTube shout out. Scary and the stick click on these fat rims. Hi, oh my God, you hear that? I bet Stu Copeland wishes he had this one. Can't say I mean the drum speaks for itself. I can't even say anything else about this drum. Very near and dear to me, this drum. I love my other drums. These are great. There's just something about this, and I think you can hear it. I hope you can hear it over the uh, over this recording. Uh, the difference. But this drum sounds like it's it is vintage, but it sounds like it was built in the '30s or something. It sounds like one of those drums from decades and decades ago, even though this drum was probably built, I want to say in the early 80s, I haven't really checked uh, the serial number and all of that, but uh, I bought it in 87, so it was probably built sometime in the 80s, uh, in the, from the Chicago uh, Ludwig. Anyway, so those are my snare drums, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the drums. Uh, I enjoyed presenting them, as I am very proud of these drums. I love them very much, and I hope that uh, that you like it. And uh, if you like, subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. It's all good. Thank you.